Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video guide here on the channel. Today, we're going to go over how to use the slash locate command in Minecraft version 1.21. Just the other day, I made a guide on how to find the trial chambers in Minecraft 1.21 using the locate command. So, I figured today would be a perfect day to actually go over how to use the command because I know a lot of people still do not really understand how this command works, and I constantly get comments where people are asking how it works. So we're making another video on today. Of course, if you guys do find this video helpful, consider leaving it a like, subscribing if you're new, and let's get right into this. So the first thing to talk about is when can you do this command? Well, theoretically, at any point in time, you just type slash locate. And for some reason, this is the trickiest thing for people. After you type slash locate, hit space, and see how it says at the bottom left? It says biome, POI, or structure. Biome means biome, POI means a specific point on the map or the world, and structure means a structure like a village or a mansion or anything like that. POI specifically being a very specific point of interest, like you can actually, I think, teleport to different mobs and stuff, but we'll go over all that very soon. The point of the matter is, if you're typing in these commands, like let's say you just want to go to a biome, and let's say you just want to go to a forest, so let's type forest. As you can see, all the options come up, and you just hit tab on your keyboard to tab to the different options, or you can just type it out like so and hit enter, and you'll know you've done correctly because the command will immediately come up saying click to teleport here, or that's the coordinates. You can either immediately teleport there like I just did, or you can manually just go to those coordinates after you jot them down yourself. Now, this is the part where people get a lot of confusion because they try doing this and I often get a lot of comments saying, I typed that in, but it doesn't work. Why will it not work? Well, there's actually a few reasons. The first reason being you are on a public server where these commands are actually disabled, where it lets you type them out, but it won't just let you execute them. Second reason, you're on a land world or any private world where commands are turned off. That can also be the case. Or the third reason, you're in a hardcore world or any regular Minecraft world where you yourself have turned the commands off or you're, you were unaware that the commands were turned off whenever you start up the world. Because if you guys didn't know, whenever you start up a world, you have to click an option that says turn cheats on. And I know people might see that as, oh, well, I'm cheating. Well, you can't do any commands if you have cheats off. You have to have cheats on if you want to use commands. Now, I personally do not use the do not like using the locate command to just teleport to places, but if I want to know if there's a structure nearby or if there's one in the vicinity, it's very helpful. Now, how do you know in terms of the radius that this command works? Well, the radius is about 10,000 blocks in diameter around you. So 10,000 east, 10,000 west, 10,000 north, 10,000 south, 10,000 up, 10,000 down. That's how it works. If there is any structure that is not within the vicinity, and I'll actually try to find one right now. So if I do slash locate structure, let's do woodland mansion. They're typically uh they're typically hard to find. Is it just called mansion now? Yeah, it's just called mansion now. So there actually is a woodland mansion nearby, but typically if there's a structure not nearby, what it will tell you is unable to like locate structure or something like that or an error has occurred if it does that that simply means you have to go outside the 10,000 block radius and then find or do the command again so as you can see we were about a 5,000 8,000 or negative 8,000 another way and we found the woodland mansion can you look at the trial chambers yes slash locate space structure space type trial and then it automatically has chambers selected you just hit enter and for anyone that's saying well, it's not even letting me hit tab for the options because I get that sometimes too where people are like, I'm hitting tab like you're doing and it's not actually coming up. That typically means the command is disabled if it's not going to even allow you to do that. So it did teleport me here. As you can see, I'm above ground. It typically teleports you to the same Y coordinate. So if you are below sea level, like if you're like Y level 20, you try teleporting to a place that's like Y level 50, you're going to be underground. So just keep that in mind. But speaking of underground, all you have to do is go underground. And as you can see down there, the trial chamber exists. Can you actually locate other things such as biomes? Like I just showed you. Sure. Do slash locate space biome space deep dark, for example. That's a very rare biome. Boom, boom, and we're there. And again, Y coordinate is affected. So just keep that in mind. But all you got to do is go dig straight downward. Oh, whoa, that's creepy. I think I was actually below bedrock level there. And you should, there should be a deep dark here. Oh yeah, it's right here. It's pretty hard to, so the deep, this deep dark biome is literally just in the rocks. I think that's what the problem was. There wasn't much of a biome to go with, but actually this is pretty cool generation. And for anyone wondering, here's the seed of the world. I know people always ask for the seed whenever I do command videos like this, so they can just go to these places. Feel free to use this seed to your heart's content. 
Now, you guys probably want to see the, the POI in action. If I do POI, I can locate things like a bee home, a butcher, a bee's nest, a cartographer, a fletcher, even my own home, which is where your bed would be located. Uh, you can do lodestone, you can do masons, meeting places, etc. So let's just go to a beehive. Let, let's type POI beehive. Could not find the point of interest beehive within a reasonable distance. So that means literally within the 10,000 blocks around me, there is not a beehive. Let's try something like a farmer. Could not locate farm within a reasonable distance. Interesting, interesting. Also, I feel like because I'm underground, I might also be having trouble because I typically don't use the command when I'm underground like this. Let me go right next to a village and try that again. So we're by a village. Let's try farmer again. Oh yeah, look, and let's teleport. Boom, and it actually sends you to the block, not specifically the farmer. So if I destroy this and type the command again, interesting so it sends you to the oh it sent me to the next one let me destroy that one yep no farmer within a reasonable distance interesting but if i replace down the uh i forget what this item is even called i assume it'll just re recombobulate the coordinates and send me back here again either way oh composter that's what's called let me okay, so if i just put a composter there and then do the command that's all i wanted to do do the command it did it literally? Yep, it just sent me there. That's hilarious. So if someone places that down, that'll mess up that command. Either way, though, guys, that is pretty much how you use the slash locate command in Minecraft 1.21. It has three options, biome, POIs, and structures. You're not going to use the POI one much unless you're literally searching for a specific villager or bee, bee's nest, beehive, etc. I would, I would stick to using this if you truly are lost and cannot find something. Like, you could even go to the... Um, the Mushroom Island, if you wanted to. Like, I forget what it's called. Oh, not Small Wind Islands. What is it called now? They changed how it's called. It's called, like, um... It's still called Mycelium Island. Mushroom Fields. That's what it's called. I don't know why I was thinking it was called Mushroom Fields. But yeah, as you can see, even here... This place is pitiful. Anyway... <laughs> At least he gave you two cows to breed. But yeah, this this pl this command is very useful for your vanilla world. And yes, it works with mods as well. As long as the mods have that stuff enabled or compatible, you are allowed to use this command with mods as well. It'll still work. Again, just make sure the stuff is turned on in your world settings whenever you go to start a world. Or if you're playing on a server, server, more often than not, it will not work. But just keep that all in mind whenever you are wondering why the command isn't working. Either way, I hope this was informative to you. Hope you did enjoy it. Let me know if it was helpful to you all. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Do not forget to leave a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.